Breaststroke turn. The breaststroke turn skill may be subdivided into the following components. Approach, touch with hand, rotation, touch with feet and push off. Approach. When swimming into the wall, the swimmer should begin to prepare themselves for the turn as far out as 15 metres. Swimmers must practice the timing of this approach so that they know how many strokes to take from a set distance away from the wall, ideally either 15, 10 or 5 metres. The swimmer should judge the timing of this last stroke to avoid gliding into the wall or having to perform a shortened or rushed last stroke. The swimmer should be aiming to touch the wall on a full stroke, with the hands making contact whilst the arms are fully extended. Touch with hand. The swimmer should aim to use the final leg kick to drive the hands strongly onto the wall. It's essential that both hands touch the wall simultaneously and they must be separated, even if only slightly. Otherwise, it may be deemed that only one hand has touched the wall. The hands do not, however, have to touch at the same height on the wall. In fact, where swimmers are preparing themselves for the subsequent rotational movement, it would be advised that the hands are at different heights to facilitate a smooth rotation and maintain movement speed during this change of direction. Rotation. As the hands are about to touch the wall, the hips should simultaneously drive forwards towards the wall as one hand is released. The swimmer should turn towards the hand which is released first. Once the hand is released, the elbow of the released arm bends and the arm travels slightly behind the head. The hips continue to drive towards the wall. As the second hand releases, the knees will bend and drive upwards towards the chest into a tucked position. As the feet get close to the wall, the swimmer will submerge in preparation for the touch with feet. Touch with feet. The legs will start to open out just prior to the feet touching the wall. The feet should make contact with the wall at the same time and will point diagonally to the side as a result of the twisting action during the second half of the rotation. When preparing to push off from the wall, the swimmer should aim to maintain their head and feet position at the same depth under the water. A depth of approximately 70 centimetres is typically recommended. This will ensure that the swimmer is able to push off underneath their incoming wave. Push off. The push off is powered by the initial extension of the hips, knees and ankles and finishes with the balls of the feet driving forcefully against the wall. The swimmer should aim for minimal contact time on the wall with their feet, but maximal application of force. As the legs drive against the wall, the swimmer should simultaneously extend their arms into an overhead streamlined position. The push-off should be performed with the entire body facing sideways. Throughout the push-off phase, the swimmer should aim to maintain the streamlined position.